Welcome back, Carter. Carter. Clock. Carter. Back, Carter. Welcome back, Carter is the third episode of the ninth season of the animated comedy series Family Guy. It originally aired on Fox in the United States on October 10, 2010. The episode follows Peter after he discovers his father-in-law, Carter Pewter Schmidt, having an affair with another woman. Deciding to blackmail him, Peter begins taking advantage of his father-in-law's enormous wealth, before accidentally spilling the beans to Carter's wife, Barbara, who divorces him soon after. Peter then becomes Carter's wingman, and helps him in rediscovering his bachelorhood, as he begins navigating through the dating scene. The episode was written by Willesley Wilde and directed by Cindy Tang Loveland. It received mixed reviews from critics for its storyline and many cultural references. According to Nielsen ratings, it was viewed in 7.2 million homes in its original airing. The episode featured guest performances by Max Burkholder, Christine Lacken, and Rachel McFarlane, along with several recurring guest voice actors for the series. Welcome back. Carter was released on DVD, along with three other episodes from the season on December 13, 2011. Plot After deciding to visit her parents, Carter and Barbara Pewterschmidt, Lois along with her husband, Peter, discover an old photo album showcasing Barbara and Carter's love for each other, as well as Barbara's short-lived affair during the Great War with Alaska, during which, after returning home from combat, Carter reclaims his wife, and the two's love is shown to him. Becoming bored, Peter is tasked to call his father-in-law to dinner, and soon discovers Carter on his yacht, and rows over to get him. He then sees Carter having sex with a dark-haired Asian woman. Carter demands he doesn't tell. Questioning his father-in-law's judgment, he eventually promises to keep the affair a secret from Barbara. The next day, at the drunken clam, Peter begins discussing the affair with Quagmire and Joe, who suggest Peter blackmail Carter as revenge for his constant mistreatment of Peter. Visiting his wife's parents during the middle of the night, Peter informs Carter that he is now his personal slave and must perform any task he wishes, including having a limousine joust, which ends with them experiencing massive blood loss and writing witty catchphrases. Noticing Peter and Carter spending time together, Barbara and Lois soon witness the two taking a high-definition television out of the house. But while they are doing this, Peter accidentally spills the beans to Barbara about the affair, and Barbara is instantly devastated by this and runs of the room sobbing. Enraged, Carter announces that he and Barbara are getting a divorce, causing Peter to suggest he meet other people. Taking him to the local club, Peter introduces Carter to the dating scene, where he soon meets Paula, an attractive blonde. Going on to demand an African-American patron fetch him a drink, Carter is accused of being a racist by Paula, who leaves him. Continuing to desire Barbara, Carter decides to take a bouquet of roses to his former wife. While there, he discovers that Barbara has begun dating Reginald the man she had an affair with during the war who sings to her in the tune of the miner's mother. Announcing he has something important to say to Barbara, Carter confesses his love for her and apologizes. Barbara then allows Carter to earn her trust by letting him move back in, and the two ultimately embrace in a passionate kiss. Production and Development the episode was written by series regular Wellesley Wilde and directed by series regular Cindy Tang Loveland shortly after the conclusion of the eighth production season. Series veterans Peter Shin and James Purdom, both of whom having previously served as animation directors, served as supervising directors for the episode, with Andrew Goldberg, Alex Carter, Elaine Coe, Spencer Porter, and Aaron Blitzstein serving as staff writers for the episode. Composer Ron Jones, who has worked on the series since its inception, returned to compose the music for Welcome Back, Carter. Series creator and executive producer Seth MacFarlane reprised his role as Carter Pewterschmidt, with main cast member and former series writer Alex Borstein providing the voice of Carter's wife, Barbara Pewterschmidt. Welcome Back, Carter, 
along with the two other episodes from Family Guy's ninth season, was released on a three-disc DVD set in the United States on December 13, 2011. The sets include brief audio commentaries by various crew and cast members for several episodes, a collection of deleted scenes and animatics, a special mini-feature which discussed the process behind animating, and then there were fewer. A mini-feature entitled The Comical Adventures of Family Guy Brian and Stewie, The Lost Phone Call, and footage of the family. In addition to the regular cast, child actor Max Burkholder, actress Christine Lacken, and voice actress Rachel McFarlane guest starred in the episode. Recurring guest voice actress Alexandra Breckenridge, actor Ralph Garman, and writers Patrick Mayen, Danny Smith, Alex Sulkin, and John Viener also made minor appearances. Actor Patrick Warburton appeared in the episode as well. Cultural References In the opening scene of the episode, Peter notices a painting of a ship in his mother in Law's living room and questions whether or not he can change the channel. Lois goes on to instruct Peter that it is not a television, with Barbara interrupting and telling him it is actually the television channel PBS. Peter then interjects his hatred of PBS, after viewing a nine-part series on traffic signs by director and producer Ken Burns, the fourth of which on the yield sign. Later, after returning to dinner, Peter becomes an embarrassment to Lois, who recalls having dinner with Paul McCartney's ex-wife, Heather Mills, during which Peter began playing footsie with Mills, whose prosthetic leg ultimately falls off. In an attempt to make Barbara love Carter again, Peter instructs him that he must befriend a cute child in order to win her over. Peter then invites child actor Jonathan Lipnicki to the Griffin family home. Reception 